Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MAT 211 uh, review on systems of linear equations. My name's Julia, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So for our example today, we're going to graph the following inequality and uh, specifically its solution set. So notice that we have an uh, inequality here. So this is not just a line. There's going to be a whole range of data or data points that uh, satisfy this particular inequality. So when we are graphing an inequality, there's two steps. First, we're going to graph the equation as if it were just a regular equality equation. So if this was an equal sign. So for instance, in our case, that would be y plus 2x equals 5. So let's start with that. We're going to just graph this. This will be in just a normal line on our plane. So first things, let's rewrite this in point slope forms. That means that our y should be by itself. So we're going to have y, and we'll just subtract this 2x to the other side over here. So it would be y equals 5 minus 2x. Now, if we think of this in terms of y equals mx plus b, so this is our intercept, which in this case is y equals 5, and this is going to be our slope, so negative 2. So we can say first, we know that it's going to cross the uh, y-intercept, or it's, excuse me, it's y-intercept is going to touch the y-axis at 5. So if we just make some little tick marks up here, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we know it's going to intersect here. We also know that it's going to decrease for every unit, one unit that x increases, we're going to decrease y by to negative 2. So if we say that at 1, we decrease by 2. So this is, we go this way and we go down. And we got our next point here. And we could do it once more just to get a nice connected line. We go 1 over more and we go down a number, another 2. Something like that. So then we can just draw our, whoop, we can draw our line nicely, maybe. Let's see. There we go. That's not too bad. All right. So there we go. There is the equation of the line, the equality, on our graph. So the next thing we want to do is we want to figure out which side of our equality our solution set is going to be. So what we want to think about is we, we can take the same uh, equal, or inequality here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to write it just so it's in terms of y. So we would say it should look exactly the same as this one, just with the equality intact, because we're just subtracting. So y plus 2x is greater than or equal to 5. So if we say then we subtract our 2x over to this side, we're going to have y is greater than 2 at, or excuse me, 5, don't forget our 5, 5 minus 2x, okay? Now, what this says is that for any point x, so say if we have x equals 1 again, so that gives us this point here, our y is going to be at least the, at, at least this point here or greater. So what that means is that our solution space is above our line. And so we can just kind of shade that in to tell us where it is. So hopefully better on your graph than on mine, but you get the idea. So that's it. That's how you graph the solution set. So I'm going to clear this here. Give me one second and we'll go to the next page. So before I go, I just want to remind you all that if you're looking for any additional tutoring or academic support at ASU, you can go to the uh, visit the tutoring center online 
at tutoring.asu.edu. So this guy here. And this link brings you right to the tutor, uh, tutor search function, which you can also get to from the main page. And the tutor search function allows you to search for tutoring services for a specific course. So thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.